African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 16th of October, 2023. The Armed Forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. In Kupansk direction, units of the ZAPAD group of forces supported by aviation, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems repelled 10 attacks of assault detachments of the Armed Forces of Ukraine's 68th Jaeger, 32nd, 44th, and 115th Mechanized Brigades near Sinkovka, Ivanovka, Novoyegorovka, Kharkov Region, and Makievka, Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, Russian forces delivered strikes on manpower and hardware of armed forces of Ukraine 112th Territorial Defense, 14th Mechanized, 95th Air Assault Brigades near Petropavlovka, Kupansk, and Petrovskoy, Kharkov region. Up to 85 Ukrainian troops, two tanks, two armored fighting vehicles, one D-20 gun, and two 2S-1 Gvozdika self-propelled artillery systems have been eliminated in this direction during the day. In Krasny Lyman direction, two attacks launched by assault detachments of the 67th Mechanized Brigade and the 12th Special Forces Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces close to Chervenaya Dybrova, Lugansk People's Republic, and Serebransky Forestry were repelled by coordinated efforts of the center group of forces, helicopter strikes, and artillery fire. In addition, armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware have been hit close to Torskoy, Serebryanka, and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 65 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, one pickup truck, as well as two D-30 howitzers. In Donetsk direction, units of the U group of forces supported by aviation and artillery repelled 10 attacks of armed forces of Ukraine assault detachments near Kleschievka, Andreevka, and Marienka, Donetsk People's Republic. Ground attack aircraft launched strikes at manpower and hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine 10th Mountain Assault Brigade, 53rd, 93rd, and 110th Mechanized Brigades close to Belogorovka, Kurdyamovka, Belyagora, and Georgievka, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's casualties were up to 460 Ukrainian personnel killed and wounded, three tanks, two armored fighting vehicles, and 12 motor vehicles. In counter-battery warfare, the Russian troops hit two U.S.-made M777 artillery systems, one Polish-made Krab self-propelled artillery system, two D-20 howitzers, and one Akatsiya self-propelled howitzer. In addition, an ammunition depot of the 54th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine was destroyed near Slavyansk, Donetsk People's Republic. In South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok Group of Forces, Helicopters, and Artillery inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 58th at 72nd Mechanized and 128th Territorial Defense Brigades near Novomikolovka, Ugladar, and Eurozenoi, Donetsk People's Republic. During the day, the enemy's losses in this direction have amounted to over 70 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles, one Jayatsen B howitzer, and one Msta B howitzer. Two ammunition depots have been annihilated close to Zeliniagai and Alexeevka, Zaporizhzhia region. In Zaporizhzhia direction, one armed forces of Ukraine attack close to Verbovoy, Zaporizhzhia region, was repelled by actions of the Russian group of forces, airstrikes, and artillery fire. In addition, armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware have been hit close to Malayatok Machka and Novodanilovka, Zaporizhzhia region. The enemy losses were up to 55 servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, and two pickup trucks. In counter-battery warfare, the Russian troops hit one U.S.-made M777 artillery system, one Polish-made Krab self-propelled artillery system, and one Gvozdika self-propelled howitzer. In Kherson direction, up to 65 Ukrainian troops, 12 motor vehicles, one D-30 howitzer, as well as an electronic warfare radar. 
Two armed forces of Ukraine ammunition depots were wiped up close to Nikolskoy and Kherson, Kherson region. One armed forces of Ukraine's sabotage and reconnaissance group was disabled close on Korobelka Island. Operational tactical and army aviation, unmanned aerial vehicles, and missile troops and artillery of the Russian groups of forces have engaged armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware in 119 areas during the day. One P-18 air target detection and tracking radar station was destroyed near Sergeyevka, Donetsk People's Republic. Missile artillery armament depots and aviation fuel storage facilities were hit close to Kmelnitsky and on the airfield of Starokonstantinov, Kmelnitsky region. One communication center was destroyed on the Murgorod airfield, Poltava region. Russian air defense means have shot down two Su-25 airplanes and MiG-29 of Ukrainian Air Force near Arkhangelskoy, Kherson region, Dmitrovka and Zvonetskoy, Dnepropetrovsk region. In addition, two Hamars MLRS projectiles have been intercepted. Moreover, 31 unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down near Berestovoy, Belogorovka, Vasilevka, Yelenovka, Donetsk People's Republic, Kamenskoy, Mernoi, Zaporozhye region, and Oleshki and Krinki, Kherson region. In total, 491 airplanes and 250 helicopters, 7,919 unmanned aerial vehicles, 441 air defense missile systems, 12,673 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,163 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS. 6,788 field artillery guns and mortars, as well as 14,356 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.